Okay, so I am making this video for two reasons. First, to teach people how to add face tracking to specifically my avatars and how I go about it. Second of all, I will be going and explaining how to add it to Razer since there's a weird exporting issue happening and I'm not exactly sure why it's not working for some people because me, when I upload it, it has no issues. So I'm going to walk you through how I go about it. There is also a way of doing it that involves, um, that you can use, um, there is this form that talks about how to go through it and they show images and stuff. So this is what I'm going to be referencing. This is how I learned how to add face tracking to avatars. So that is what I will be using, but I will also leave the link for it in the description of this video so that people can know what they're doing. So. What I'm gonna do for this example is I'm gonna make a duplicate of my Razer avatar. You do not have to do that. I am just doing that for setting up all of this. So we're gonna unpack this, which you shouldn't have to do, but when you're doing this, you might have to. What you're gonna do is delete, in the case of Razer, this isn't normally what you would have to do, but in the case of Razer right now and the issue I'm having, we're going to delete the face tracking prefab that's already on Razer. When uploading Razer, you should have added and imported VRC Fury and VRC face tracking templates by Jerry. Um, and all you're going to do is you're going to go into the prefabs. You're going to find the AR kit blend shapes prefab. And you're going to drag and drop that on to Razer. But you see, Razer has an issue where it's the um, head is not named just body, which normally face tracking would just attach to that and immediately work. But in that case, we will be adding some extra features to make sure things work. So for instance, you're going to go into face tracking, you're going to click on the prefab down here that's in the thing, and you're going to make sure, you're going to go to advanced options, and I'm going to just copy this, but you're going to, it's not going to show this, so what you're going to do is in path rewrite rules, you're going to add one, and you're going to put, put body in the top, and you're going to have the rewrite the prefix to whatever the name of the head is. So in this case, it is a.1-head. So you will put that there so that it will actually attach to the head in that regard. And then you're gonna wanna copy that if you haven't already just copied the text from the head. And you're gonna go into AR kit prefab. You're gonna double click this to do it in this case. But you're going to go to, or not, never mind, <laughs> I'm going to unpack this. Um, unpack completely. You're going to click on this, on the face tracking AR debug, uh, AR kit debug. And that's by dropping down the little arrow next to the VRC face tracking stuff. And you're going to go down to where it says blend shapes link. And you're going to put the name of the head and hit enter and it'll show all the blend shapes for that head that are for the face tracking. So then it should work. And all you should have to do is upload. This process also works for uploading any of my avatars that have the Starlin head because they have face tracking blend shapes still, but they just don't have um, a like separate head mesh a lot of the time. Or if they do, they just don't have the face tracking blend shape added to them or the prefab. Um, if you do go about adding it to one of my avatars, you will have to <clears throat> you will have to make sure that you go into the animator on the main avatar herself 
and you may have to remove some of her layers in order to get it to work properly. Um, it is not showing me the right FX, but if you double click on the FX and you scroll down into here, you'll find High's gesture blend shapes. You'd want to make a copy, of course, by hitting Control D, and you'd make a copy of your avatar, and you would remove High's gesture stuff from in here and from the parameters. For some reason, it won't actually toggle off those layers for the face tracking. So I just, when I make my avatars, I make a duplicate FX that just doesn't have those on it. Um, so for instance, Razor has face tracking Razor FX. So that's the way I go about that. And then to add it to just a generic like avatar that you know has the right like prefix here and should work properly, literally all you have to do is, other than making sure you have space, is literally just find the prefab that you need and just drag and drop it on and then upload. Um, it is that easy. Um, I only recently found out how easy it was, but that's all you should really have to do. But with the different names, it'll be a little harder, but I hope that this helped show you how to do it. Um, I will link both the avatars I used down below, and I'll also link the instructions, but that's it. I hope I helped. If you have any questions, you can join my Discord server, and I can answer them, and I can give more details on how to help, but... For now, that's it.